Hello. I'm gonna talk about my a few experiences with lucid dreaming. I've done a video already on this on my first experience. Well, weren't my first. It weren't exactly my first. It was my first contact with an angel. That one was actually. But anyway, this one. I'm gonna talk about my last. The last time I had one first, which was like about a month ago when I changed my energy, started feeling my energy inside me. I, I've, I was lying down and I picture myself laying down. Um, I was trying to connect to spirits at first, picturing myself, didn't have contact. And I picture myself lying down for some reason. And I picture myself levitating as I was lying down on my bed. As I was, I was laying down on my bed as well. So I picture myself how I was, but laying down on my bed and levitating up slowly. And as I did that, as I got lifted up a few feet, I've literally fell asleep. I've seen, I've looked down at my body as I'm laying down, as, I'm, as I go in, and I can see light going all the way down my body. It had like all little, little flickers in it as well. I can't really explain it. I mean, it was like real soft energy and the light energy that I created but it was like real soft and felt real comfortable it feels more how I've made it now I've made it real softer and more positive but um, yeah so as I've, as I've gone in I'm still levitating and I can feel me levitating so, say my body's going that way as I'm laying down like straight forward I could feel in my head the levitation going up through my head that way so it felt real strange and it was like real soft with the movement is it going up it was, it was going up and I just couldn't handle it I just didn't want to go through with this so I just like woke up um, that was the last time but the, the spiritual experiences this has got to be the one of the best spiritual dreams I had. I've got the vibrations and that. I've been focusing, clearing my mind and just staying aware, man. And I've gone, I've gone, in, got the vibrations. I've gone in, but usually I'm I, I, I like get up on my bed when I when, when I come out of my body. I never see my body on my bed. Or anything, but I usually just sit straight up and stand up straight away. I'm not because I know I'm in spirit, so I don't want to be laying, wasting time hanging about because I'm a bit wary of the spirits around me. I never know what I'm going to come into contact with. <clears throat> so this time, I've as soon as I've stood, as soon as I've gone in, I've stood, I've, I was standing next to my bed and I felt. A woman, a girl, oh, I felt arms come round me and grab my stomach and I felt like she's, she, someone's grabbed me and I've literally felt them go, go, like grab me and move, move, move their waist into my back, you know what I mean? So I was like, whoa, what was that? You know what I mean? And I was just thinking, I hope this ain't a guy, man. So I put, put my hands there and I felt like, um, I felt, put my hands there and looked. And I've seen like blue, and I kind of seen it in my mind's eye as well. And I've seen like long hair, and I felt like silk bottoms, and I've seen her wearing like silk kind of the pajama bottoms you get, like baby blue ones as well. <clears throat> so yeah, she's grabbed me, and then I've lifted up. She's lifted me up, and I'm literally vertical facing the floor, and she's carrying me around the room. I'm flying around the room, like in circles round the room she's gripping hold of me holding me up and I'm just thinking well, I'm going to get slammed down to the ground or something she's, something's going to happen in this dream <laughs> and I waited for it but I just got put down real soft and slowly and then I woke up um, <clears throat> I tried contacting her straight after as well psychically yeah seen a few images of her, didn't talk to her. She's the same person that in my spiritual, my contact, um, the times I wake up, spiritual contact at times I wake up, 
she's the one that was saying, uh, what you, what you saying, Anton, <laughs> in the morning. Uh, she don't really speak to me very often. Um, yeah, the next day, because I, I was doing a lot of shopping at the time, and uh, I was going shopping like four, I went about four times that week, so it must have just been in my head. But I've, I've been, I was dreaming, and I become lucid in my dream, and I realized. Cause I realised I was uh, sh like shopping. I'm like, I'm in my dream. Why? Why am I shopping in my dream? <laughs> I've been going. I've been go doing too much shopping. So I was, I was like, decided to walk home in the dream. <laughs> and I've got bags with me. I've got the, got the all my shopping bags. I'm carrying my shopping bags. And then the next minute, I feel that sp I sense that spirit. And as soon as the sensor, I've li she's grabbed hold of me again, and I've lifted up. And I've lifted up in the air, then we're moving towards my house. Gotta be like about two miles. And we'll, she, I lift up, and then I move forward closer to, closer towards my house, and then I get put down slowly. And then she lifts me up again, and I get closer, and it's like jumping. <laughs> it's like floating, just jumping like closer to my, uh, to my house. Um, and it happened like five times, and then I got real close to my f um, my flat, and that was it. I just walked the rest of the way home, and then I woke up, and that was that spiritual dream. But I just knew that I was the same person. Did it again. Uh, yeah. So that's the contact I had with her. Uh, I was still trying contact her now. Like remembering her from the dream, but well, that's got to be the best dream I had. Um, another lucid dream experience. This is quite kind of freaky. This one. 